Hey guys, hello everyone, myself Norman Patel and today we will be looking into fourth part of our series of lectures which are on biochemistry spotters. If you are viewing this video directly, I request you to start from the part 1, part 2, part 3 and so on so that you will be in the synchrony of the videos and does not miss any of the spot as each and every spot is important and no one knows that which spot is going to be asked in exam. You can view previous video of the spotters by clicking on the i button which is there on the top of your screen. Also, I have put the link of my previous videos in the description box. If you haven't subscribed to channel, do subscribe as it will be useful to you because I am uploading such useful videos every now and then. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified regularly whenever we post the video. So let's begin with the spotters. So the given spot number 27 states that the uh, we have to know the enzyme which is even class and we have to know the class on the enzyme E2. Here in the case of uh, uh, enzyme E1 the reactant site is AB and water and the product given is AH plus BOH. So it we can notice that it is the hydrolysis reaction because here water splits into H plus and OH minus. Similarly, A B splits into A and B, and then A reacts with the H and B reacts with the OH to form AH and BOH is the product. In case of E2 enzyme, the reactant A B and C reacts to give A and B C a separate product. Yet the color signifies that A and B has splitted, and there is a transfer of the molecule B into the C and A is given separately as a product. So let's look into the answer. Uh, so as previously I have explained here even is the hydrolase enzyme and E2 is the transferase enzyme. The example of the hydrolase enzyme are all the hydrolytic enzyme like pepsin, trypsin, chymotrypsin etc. The transferase enzyme example are transaminase, methyl transferase. Here transaminase helps in the transfer of the amino group. Methyl transferase as the name is suggesting methyl. So it helps in the transfer of methyl group. Let's move to the next spotter. Here on the base of the figure, we have to identify the crystal and we have to give it the shape of the crystal. Now this is one of the simplest spot because similar to this spot, there are two other spots. Uh, like uh, lactosazone crystal spot, maltosazone uh, crystal spots and glucosazone crystal spot which you can find uh, in my other videos. So let's look into the answer. So the given spot is the lactosazone crystals and according to this uh, shape which is a powder puff shape we can easily give this answer as the lactosazone. Moving to the next spot, uh, this is a pictorial representation and in this we have to identify the peak E and we have to give the important conditions in which the height of the peak increases. So the given peak E is the gamma globulin peak. The gamma globulins are increased in various acute and chronic infections, liver diseases, multiple myeloma, HIV infection and various cancers. Here the A peak is of the albumin. B peak is of alpha 1 protein, C is of alpha 2 protein, and D is of beta globulin, and as I said earlier, E is the peak for gamma globulins. Let's move to the next spot. Here in this spot is the chemical reaction of the conversion of a compound homocysteine into its metabolized product cystathione. So according to this, we have to name the inborn error of metabolism because this red signifies that there is the deficiency of the enzyme or the enzyme is absent and we have to give the two clinical manifestation of the following metabolic disorder. So the spot is that uh, it is a condition of the homocysteine urea and the deficient enzyme is the CBS that is cystathione beta synthase enzyme and the condition is as I said is a homocysteine urea. The complications with to which it leads is thrombosis, osteoporosis and very often mental retardation. Moving to the next spot, it is similar spot as the previous one in which there is a conversion of homogentisic acid 
to malyl acetate and this is inhibited due to the deficiency of enzyme we have to identify the condition and we have to give the other name of the disease so the given condition is alkoptone urea which usually occur due to the accumulation of the alkapton bodies uh, in the body and the other name of the disease is black urine disease or the black bone disease it is known as black urine disease because uh, this alkapton bodies get stored uh, get stored in the body and is excreted uh, uh, outside the body as this alkapton body is a black in color hence it is called as the black urine disease let's look into the next spot we have to identify the technique and we have to write its significance and what is the rf value so it's a simple question the technique is the paper chromatography and its significance is that it is used in the separation of amino acids sugar molecules peptides or these mixtures so now what is the RF value? RF value is usually defined as ratio of the distance that is moved by solute which is a dye or a pigment or and the distance moved by the solvent known uh, non solvent any of the known solvent along the paper where both the distances are to be measured from the common origin or application of baseline. So now here the important thing is that that RF value is the ratio. So it has got no unit it is a dimensionless quantity let's move to the next spot based on the uh, test tube we have to identify this spot we have to name the abnormal urinary constituent and the clinical significance of it so the given test is the rotheras test and uh, it is the test for the abnormal uh, ketone bodies that are present in the urine so these abnormal ketone bodies are mainly acetone and acetoacetic acid that is primary and secondary ketone bodies now what is the significance of this test now in the case of diabetes mellitus there is a very uh, significant complication to which it leads uh, that is the diabetic ketoacidosis in which there is accumulation of the ketone bodies in the body hence this test is usually used for monitoring the patients which are uh, having diabetes mellitus ketone urea is an indication that insulin dose needs to be increased electrolyte imbalance and dehydration occur when ketone bodies gets accumulated in the blood let's move to the last spot it states that uh, what is the test according to the test tube we have to write the principle of the test and also which amino acid does not give this test and what is the reason for it so the given test is the sulfur test it is also called as the lead acetate test as the name suggests it is a sulfur test so it is given by the sulfur containing proteins that is cysteine and cysteine and methionine here there is an exception that methionine does not give the test so we'll look into the reason just after this answer so the principle of the test is that when the protein containing cysteine and cysteine is boiled with strong alkali organic sulfur is converted to sodium sulfide mainly sulfide addition of lead acetate to this solution causes the precipitation of the lead sulfide which is insoluble and black gray in color hence we can see the black test tube now the reason is that as methionine has the presence of thioether linker linkage so this does not allow the release of sulfur to the reaction hence no sodium sulfide formation takes place and subsequently no formation of the insoluble lead sulfide so due to the presence of this thioether linker linkage there is no uh, free sulfur present so thanks a lot guys for watching this video hope you have enjoyed this part Tell us in the comment section that uh, how this video is useful uh, for your studies. Also, if you really like this video, don't forget to give thumbs up. Do subscribe and share it with your friends, friends of friends, colleagues and each and everyone. Thanks for watching.